Okay, in this video I'm going to make an astable multiverbator, which is also the circuit required to make a, a two LED flashing circuit. So here is the circuit diagram. Points not are I'm using a 9 volt high line. I'm using two types of resistors on the outside here. I'm using 330 ohms. And the inside I'm using 660, or twice the outside. I'm using two capacitors. Each of those are 470 microfarads. Notice the, or notice the orientation whereby the positive side or the longer leg is at the larger, uh, is, is in series with the larger resistance. I'm using two NPN transistors. The one I'm using is BC547, which is also known as a 2N2222. And I'm also using two 3mm LEDs down to ground as my indicators. So, uh, the only difficult part in this is to notice the orientation of my, sorry, the, or the orientation of my capacitors and that this junction here is connected to the base of this transistor and this junction here is connected to the base of this transistor. I would recommend that, like you can play around of course with the values of the resistances and capacitances, just make sure that the, the ratio is correct in terms of the 2 to 1 ratio of the, of the resistances and that your capacitance is reasonable. Up to a thousand microfarads should probably work as well. Um, okay, so I'm going to go and build the circuit. Right, as per normal, this is my uh, my breadboard. I have a high line here. I have a low line here, and I'm using a nine volt battery, like I said. So what I'm going to first do is I'm going to I'm going to put in the smaller resistor. Then I'm going to put it in series with the transistor and through the LED down to ground. I'm going to, I'm going to do that the exact same for the for the higher one as well, or the the say the capacitor or the transistor on the right hand side. So here I go. I'll give you a close up now in one moment. So that's a 330 ohm resistor. There is my transistor. So the flat side would be to, if you look at the flat side, on the left you have the ba the collector, the centre you have the base, and the right you have the emitter. So I'm going to put the collector in series with the resistor. I'm going to put an LED here. See that? There's a longer leg and a shorter leg. The longer leg will be in series with the emitter. And from there down to the ground. Focus. So not focus. Come on. Okay. So, high line the resistor into the collector. Base currently not connected, and the emitter through the LED down to ground. So I'm going to repeat that process, but with the please get get into focus. It's not really getting in focus, is it? Okay, it shouldn't really matter. I'll show you the one I need to. Me too. Okay, so the exact same process on the other side. Okay. Yeah, it's much better now. That's much better. Okay. So, next thing to do is to put the larger resistance, both of those in, and put a capacitor between them and, and the smaller ones. So, here's my larger resistance. Hard to see. So from here into this this resistor, excuse me, this resistor 
in series with this one here and this one in series with this one. Notice the output here and the output here are not in line. Okay, so they're separate, they're not on the same point. Okay, that's in focus again. So next I'm going to put in the capacitors. Once again, noticing the direction, so here is a capacitor. You can see there you have a longer, line, longer, leg, longer leg and a shorter leg. So the longer leg is going to go onto the higher resistance. see it there so this point this junction here where it's got the collector of the uh, the collector of the transistor the smaller resistance and then you have the capacitor into the end of the larger resistance so I'm going to do, I'm going to repeat that process with the other transistor that's still not in focus what is happening I'm sorry okay so I've put in this transistor here, oh, sorry, this ca this capacitor here, and, go, and the other one as well. All right. So finally, then I need to collect, connect the, the capacitors and the base. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go from this junction here down to this base, and this junction down to this base. So let's try that. So where the larger one is. Here, base on this one. Okay. So the base here connected to the, the larger resistance and capacitor junction. Alright, so the only thing I'm missing now is power. So what's happening there is that the capacitors are getting to discharge slightly differently than they would normally do and that is how you make an S-table multivibrator or a two LED flashing circuit